Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, our today's topic is uh, systems of breeding. I mean, uh, when you, after having decided which animals to breed from, it uh, needs to be decided how these will be mated, whether to mate animals of the same breed and uh, whether to mate related or unrelated animals or even uh, different breeds. So this is uh, how we call it uh, systems of breeding. And uh, uh, this is the topic which uh, we will be discussing today. And let's start then. Okay, but there are basically uh, different, uh, uh, I mean, kinds of uh, uh, breeding systems in which we will be discussing today random mating, assortative mating, inbreeding, and outbreeding. And in, uh, in case of outbreeding, there are different, uh, further different types of outbreeding. Let's start with random mating. Random mating uh, basically is this mating system in which every individual in the herd has equal opportunity to mate with the individual of opposite sex. This is an easy way of mating and requires no performance recording and may be used when no other choice exists. Sometimes while testing sires, a large number of mates are required and mating needs to be random to reduce the chances of favor to a particular uh, sire. So uh, that is uh, uh, in, in one word or one line, I would say that random mating, in case of random mating, uh, each individual from both the sexes, they have equal opportunity to mate. Uh, then comes assortative mating. Assortative mating uh, involve uh, similar individuals. I mean, the mating of uh, similar individuals. And in this case, it is known as positive assortative mating or uh, mating which involves uh, dissimilar individuals. This is known as negative assortative mating. And uh, what is meant by similar here? Similar here means having similar performance in a trade or a combination of trades. Mm, that is, uh, uh, I would say, lowest to lowest or best to best. So it is, of course, difficult than a random mating because uh, performance recording would be required. Positive assortative mating is used to produce extreme individuals while negative assortative mating is used to produce intermediates. Uh, mating uh, designed uh, to, uh, I mean, correct in the progeny, the faults in one or both the parents, it is a kind of uh, negative assortative mating. Uh, that is why we call it corrective mating. Uh, an example would be a mating of post leg stallion and a sickle hawked male, uh, assortative mating. So if we compare assortative mating with the random mating, uh, it, it became imperative or it is apparent that uh, we need to note or observe the performance uh, of uh, uh, individuals for which we are going towards positive or negative assortative matings. Then comes a third kind of, uh, I mean, uh, system of breeding, which is known as inbreeding. Inbreeding basically is the mating system, which involves uh, mating of closely related individuals. For example, uh, mating of son and dam, daughter and father, full sibs, half sibs, first cousins, etc., etc. So this is known as inbreeding. Uh, I would say this is a harmful uh, system if practiced alone uh, without selection and continued over a long time as uh, it exposes deleterious genes. On an average, um, I would say uh, it results in a moderate decrease in growth rate. 
productive and reproductive efficiency, viability and vigor of the individuals. Yet it can be used to select against a recessive gene and for the development of inbred lines. Uh, usually I would give an example of uh, this uh, development of inbred lines, especially we perform this kind of inbreeding in case of poultry, where we, we I mean, uh, develop different uh, lines uh, and then we cross those uh, lines to produce uh, a better or the best uh, performing individuals. Lining breeding is a basically a uh, mild form of inbreeding, which involves mating of animals in such a way that their descendants are kept closely related to some admired individual. So this is accomplished by using animals which are both closely related to the admired ancestors, but are less related to each other. So that was about uh, inbreeding. That means uh, uh, in the same way, uh, like uh, a sortative mating, we, we need to have a, a performance records for uh, going towards the inbreeding. Uh, the fourth category in uh, uh, systems of breeding, a fourth system of breeding is outbreeding. This is a mating system which involves mating of unrelated animals, totally unrelated animals. It includes outcrossing, crossbreeding, and uh, breeding up. Outcrossing uh, is a mating system which involves the mating of uh, unrelated animals within the same breed. For example, mating of a sahiwal bull from one farm with a sahiwal cow from another farm. So that is outcrossing. Then uh, crossbreeding, which is very famous I mean, technique or system of breeding in case of uh, improving the productivity of animals. Um, in this case, mating of unrelated uh, animals uh, belonging to different breeds or even different species is performed. For example, uh, mating of a Hostian Frisian uh, bull with a non district of desi cow as we normally do under our field conditions or uh, mating of a donkey with mare to get a mule. There are many kinds of uh, crossbreeding systems and the success of this system depends on, on uh, breed choice, selection within the breed, simplicity and sustainability of the program. So uh, in Pakistan, crossbreeding of local cattle with the exotics to improve qualities like uh, milk yield it is being carried out for the last few decades. Uh, but uh, just, uh, I would say, three years ago, uh, a national breeding policy, previously they allowed us to selective breeding uh, for the native breeds such as Sahiwal, Red Sindhi, and Cholistani, and upgradation of non district cattle through the use of Friesian. Uh, Friesian is used in the plain or irrigated areas and uh, jersey in the hilly or rain fed areas and we use the semen of these animals <clears throat> so cross uh, but since now 2017 national uh, breeding policy has restricted the conditions for cross breeding and has uh, i mean forbidden uh, the, uh, this uh, technique to be used in our uh, indigenous breeds as uh, the indigenous breed animals are becoming extinct in, in, in our geographical location. And that is a major problem, especially uh, in our areas. Uh, therefore, our research center for the conservation of indigenous breeds has been established in 2018 uh, so that we could uh, Conserve, conserve our local breeds. After crossbreeding, there is another system in uh, outbreeding that is known as grading up. This term, it demotes the practice of breeding pure bred sires of a breed with less productive females and their female offspring of another breed, generation after generation. So first generation offspring will carry 50% inheritance of pure breed, 
second generation will have 75% inheritance of pure breed and so on. In this way, considerable improvement can be expected among offsprings as compared to their female parents. Um, for example, I would, uh, I mean, we have an example uh, in our field conditions, like we, we uh, do the upgradation of local chicken with the white leghorn breed in order to improve uh, the egg production uh, in uh, our local uh, chicken breeds. So the choice of the breeding system, it uh, depends on the breeding objectives to be achieved, um, the, the, uh, uh, the genetic resources available. So generally in breeding should be avoided because it has deleterious effects. One way would be not to use bulls produced on one's own farm. Similarly, crossbreeding has its own advantage of achieving the increased productivity in a very short period of time. But it should be used carefully because uh, well-adapted local breeds can be endangered by its uh, haphazard use. Animals need to be recorded in order to benefit uh, from selection or to execute any useful breeding system. Farmers generally know what their animals are producing, which may even be difficult for, for, for larger herds, but how they are performing in comparison with others' animals is needed for proper execution of any genetic improvement program. So that was it about uh, systems of breeding today. Thank you very much. Um, see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.